Hi, I'm Hannah from Single Track, and uh, I thought since it's the time of year where we like to go out with our kids and share the joy of cycling with them, or possibly the trauma of cycling with them, um, I thought I'd give you a bit of a chat about some of the bikes that my kids have been riding, um, and we happen to have in on test at the moment as well. So the first bike, uh, which we just published the review on last week, was the Hoy Benali. That's the blue one here at the front. Uh, this is available from Evans, Evans Cycles, uh, and this particular model costs uh, 400 and... Uh, no, it doesn't. It costs £360. There you go. Um, so I was really impressed with this bike, um, and, and I'm quite sad to be sending it back um, because my, my youngest child has had a whale of a time on it. Um, I'm going to keep talking you through these bikes, but if you've got any questions about how you get your kids to enjoy bike rides or, or any of the bikes in particular, then just give me a shout. So a couple of things that I really liked about the Hoy as compared to the other bikes that I've got here. Um, first up, if you're going to give mountain biking a go, um, this has got a lot, much bigger tyre or tyre width than um, other kids' bikes that I've, I've experienced. So this is a 24-inch tyre with a 2.1-inch width, which kind of gives almost like a plus bike uh, dimension or proportion to the bike. Uh, and it was really noticeable. As soon as my son got on it, he was hopping up curbs and off curbs and, and doing jumps. Um, and just that little bit of extra cushioning really seemed to help him along. It's a very lightweight bike. Um, as are all the bikes we've got here actually. This particular one, on the scales of truth, came up at 9.14 kilos. Um, so uh, that really matters when you've got a kid's bike. Um, you want it to be as, as lightweight as possible uh, in proportion to their body. Um, my kids really liked the foam grips and I was skeptical about that because I kind of thought they'd get all chunks taken out of them. Um, but actually they were really nice and soft on their hands and it is something that I think kids complain about is, is the comfort on their hands because um, you know, they're clinging on um, and they're generally having to reach for the brakes which are nice short reach brakes in this instance. And if you're going to look at any kid's bike, short reach brakes has got to be the first thing on your list. If they can't reach the brakes, they're going to have a miserable time and they're gonna fall off and hurt themselves. So don't compromise, don't buy another bike that doesn't have short reach brakes. I just couldn't recommend it. Um, this bike has thumb shift gears, which my kids have really got on with. Um, they really like the thumb shift. In contrast, if I move on to the Isla bike here, Isla bikes have got grip shifts. Now, this grip shift on this Isla bike my kids have really enjoyed as well. However, not all grip shifts are the same. So I've seen early models of the frog bike that's behind me and that had a grip shift and they didn't get on with it. They could kind of change one way, but not the other. Um, so yeah, not all grip shifts are equal, uh, but my kids have got on with both the thumb shift and the grip shift. Um, this Isla bike here, if I move on to that, is a new model for Isla bikes. It's a 27.5 inch wheel uh, on a smaller frame. The idea being that that gives you the ability to, to roll over obstacles. Um, so this particular bike is aimed at like a 10 year old, whereas the Hoy is more like an eight year old. And that's the age of my kids that I've been riding them. Um, the Isla bike comes with slightly narrower tires than the Hoy. So those are a 1.6 inch tire on the Ben 27. And that, yeah, as I said, that's a 27.5 inch wheel. Um, again, a really good quality, lightweight bike. Very difficult to pick any holes in, uh, in either of these bikes, really. Um, I think really it comes down to what you want to ride on with your kids. So if I move over here a little bit, the third one in the triumvirate of good quality kids' bikes on the market at the moment. This is a frog bike, um, and they're a British company, um, 
And this bike is actually mine. I own it. Well, my kids do. Um, and for full disclosure, I did get a trade discount when I bought that. However, I've since bought one in the next two sizes up uh, in a shop with my own money. You know, all of that. So I think that's a pretty good recommendation. A um, couple of things that are different about the frog bike or you know, might, might uh, set them aside. So they've still got the thumb shift gears. The new models have the thumb shift gears. Um, they come with two sets of tires. Um, so I've got the kind of mountain bikey tires on there, which are a 1.75 inch tire on the 24 inch bike. So Hoy has the fattest tires. The Frog in its mountain bike form has the middle sized tires and the Isla bike has the skinnier tyres. Um, but like I say, this comes with a, a hybrid tyre as well for if you're kind of more on the streets. So I think that's a really nice touch um, to have that flexibility. Um, and you can get, Isla bikes come direct from Isla bikes. You have to go to their website. Frog bike, you can either buy them from their website or you can do like a click and collect from your certain bike shops. And if you do that, you don't pay the postage and you get your servicing, you know, your six week, I've done 100 miles, maybe, service when all your cables stretch. So it's worth going to your local bike shop if they stock them and doing that click and collect, in my opinion. Um, so I've had all of these bikes on the go with my kids. Um, as I say, I've actually bought the Frog. If my son had needed a bike at this stage, I would have bought the Hoy just for those, those bigger tyres. Uh, but really, there's, there's not a lot to choose from between them. Uh, I think if mountain biking is your, or something approaching mountain biking is your main target, then the Hoy could be worth investing in. Um, but yeah, I'd go with whatever you've got access to. Um, and whatever you can get your kids to, to like the look of, really. They all come in nice arrays of colours and good gender neutral ones as well, so you can pass them down the siblings. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've got your kids to the stage where they can ride bikes and, and these are what you're looking at. Um, before I go on to how to get them on bikes in the first place, have we had any questions, Mark, that need answering? Not yet. Good, right. So, um, if you've got a smaller child than these, because I would say these are for like an eight, eight year old and up, um, you need a balanced bike. You, you just have to have a balanced bike. There will be no greater joy in your life than having a balanced bike. Um, so my child that was riding this started at 18 months old on um, a Pookie LRM, which I don't have here anymore. And when I gave the bike away, I cried because it was such a full of happy memories. Um, and as far as I'm aware, the, the Puki or Puki uh, LRM is the smallest uh, balance bike that you can get. Um, and yes, you could argue that you could get any bike and take the cranks off it, but the, the Puki has um, like a little platform so they can put their feet onto it, um, not drag their shoes on the ground the entire time. You will get through shoes. So uh, yeah, whichever, whichever balance bike you go for, um, get them on one nice and early uh, and then don't bother with the stabilizers if they're ready they can just ride they'll they'll go um you'll notice that i don't have any suspension on any of these bikes um and to be honest my kids aren't that rad they're they're kind of you know they're normal kids yes i work for the mountain bike magazine but my kids just do normal riding like other kids they're not getting air well, they're starting to, one of them is. Um, but yeah, I don't think they've got any need for suspension um, at the moment. We live somewhere with huge hills, so weight is a major factor um, and, and climbing ability. You know, we wouldn't get up to our house. It would be miserable if, uh, if we were dragging a lot of suspension around. So that's not, that's not what I've got here. That's not what I've tested, but we do plan to, uh, to have a little look for some rad kids and do some of that testing. A uh, couple of things I've learnt through pain and trial and error, um, and it's worth looking on the website, we've got a, an article on ways to make your kids like bike rides. Um, 
if you're going for a bike ride, don't forget that there is every chance that they will have a Schrader valve and tubes on their bike. And your little tubeless tyre noodles and your Presta valve pump are not going to cut it when you're in the middle of nowhere. So uh, yes, check you have the right tools or it's a long, long, sad walk home. And you'd better be sure that you have some spare food, which is the other thing you should always make sure you have. More food than you think is possible because they are riding you know, little legs going really fast compared to yours on these proportionately smaller wheels, apart from this one, uh, and going over all the bumps. They're working way harder than you are. So you're gonna need to keep them fueled like hummingbirds. Um, yeah, so to run through these again, the Hoy is £360, this Ben is £439, as is the smaller one with the 24 inch wheels that would be comparable, comparable. and then the Frog 62 here is £330, though it's worth noting that at the moment some colours two sizes up are on offer at £300. Um, so, Yep, you've got kind of a range of bikes which are undoubtedly an investment, but bear in mind you'll probably manage to resell them um, at not that much less than you've paid for them, and you've had the fun out of, uh, out of using them. So certainly there are Isla Bike and Frog Bike Facebook pages devoted to buying and selling them second hand. So if the initial outlay new doesn't take your fancy, it's well worth hopping on over there and uh, and have another look. Um, Hoy bikes will be interesting to see how they how they stand up, but I have no reason to believe that they should uh, lose their value any faster than the others. So I think that's about it. Uh, if you've got any questions, send them in to us in the comments, and I'll I'll try and answer them afterwards because I've spent quite a lot of time with my kids riding bikes now, and um, and I'd love to be able to help you to get your kids onto bikes too. So thanks very much for listening. Bye.